So I'm going to start by looking at my inspiration photos. I'm going to use this photo for reference because it shows a good top half of Mulan's figure. I like this photo because it shows more of the bottom half. So now I got an action plan. Let's go. So it's too early to go to the thrift store yet because it doesn't open till 11. So I just got to find something else to occupy my time. Looking at my gross nails, it looks like it's time to paint them. Pull the old nail polish out. Since it is Halloween, I decided to paint my nails orange and add a cute little pumpkin faces on them. I only had the patience and creativity to make two of them, but aren't they so cute together? Somehow, after all that, it's still too early, so I guess I'm going to have to take my textbook and actually study for my exam. Until it's time to go, of course. Alright, got my haul. Let's go! For this next step, it's going to be really important that you have your cat checking out all the items you bought from the thrift store to make sure that they're safe to bring in. Take a good smell and excellent. Now throw them in the washing machine. Now you just got to remember how to use your washing machine under the pressure of filming. While at the thrift store, I found two teal curtains, which I'm going to use to make Mulan sleeves. I'll be using this red tablecloth to make some of the dress accents and the waistband. Up next is this thing I found at the store. I don't know what it is. My best guess is that it is supposed to cover a couch. Not 100% sure, but I'm going to use three of, of them. There's three of them to make uh, the body of Mulan's dress. Finally, I'm going to use this pink bed sheet to make Mulan's scarf belt thing. First, I fiddled around with the measuring tape, measuring arbitrary numbers. Just kidding. They're my measurements for my waist and the length of my body from the waist to my foot because I wanted this to be a full length dress. Then I realized that the part of the fabric that looks like it would cover a cushion it is actually the length and width that I needed it to be. So I'm cutting two of my pieces of cushion covers and that's going to make my, my skirt. What my flailing arms are trying to tell you is that I left enough fabric on the skirt piece so that I can put elastic in there. Okay, now to do some pinning. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. pinning my dress, pinning my dress. So I pull out my mom's sewing machine and... Things pretty much immediately go wrong. The first thing that happened is my needle fell out of the machine. And I had no idea to fix it, so I had to become a sewing machine surgeon. As you can see from my many position changes, I am very dedicated to this project. And I can promise you, I will not give up. At this point, I'm thinking, great, things are back on track. And then things got worse. My needle broke. And this is the face of a girl who just realized her needle broke. And she stuffs it back in the drawer and pretends it doesn't exist. At this point, the cat sensed my distress and came to my aid. Meanwhile, I prepped to do some hand sewing. I don't know if it was the stress of trying to fix the sewing machine or if it was the cat. But it took me like 15 minutes to get the thread through the needle. It might have been the cat. Now I am finally doing my hand sewing. Want to see me do a magic trick? Ooh, ah. While I'm doing my hand sewing, I'm being a good student and watching my class lecture. Watch closely and you'll see me crack up about something he said. More hand sewing and cat watching. Hi, everyone. Hey. I'm sewing. I'm making a video oh, okay. of me sewing. Very photogenic. Cute. Yeah, she looks pretty cute. She okay. said, stop talking about me! I'm now cutting an asymmetric bottom because her skirt is split to have white at the bottom asymmetrically. And looking at her pose, you can see she's spread her legs pretty far out. So I'm adding an additional panel to the skirt to make the bottom wider. I forked it up so I had to redo it so it looked seamless in the front. Frankenstein had his monster and this one is mine. Darkfire's monster if you will. I didn't want to go back to the thrift store so I found some curtains that have been out of the rotation for over a year. So the closest thing that I could find that I could use is white but it's kind of an off-white which I don't really like so I'm going to take some creative liberties 
and make the bottom part of her dress this light blue instead. So what I'm gonna do is basically gonna cut it in half long ways and attach it to the bottom of my dress and see how this goes. I thought I was being so smart pinning my asymmetrical dress like this and leaving that excess over here. And then I realized when I turned it over, now I just have this hanging piece, which doesn't work. So now I gotta figure out a new way to pin this that where it still makes the bottom even because I really like how this is already hemmed. So I took out the pins and repinned it. Did some more hand sewing because my machine needles still haven't come. Finally, my skirt is complete and I can move on to the top. Just cutting the red accents to her top when my cat decided to play with my scissors. So I did have to remove her from the premises to continue on. Just pinning and sewing in my elastic. If it seems like I'm going fast, it's because I feel like this video is going to get too long and nobody wants to watch a video longer than 10 minutes. So I'm pinning the front part of Mulan's top and then I'm just measuring to make sure that both sides match up evenly. I didn't film it but I then hand sewed everything and afterwards I discovered that my machine sewing needles had come. But at this point I'm so dedicated to hand sewing that I just continue to hand sew the rest of Mulan's top front half. I could have used a cami for this part but I wanted to stick to my word of only using thrifted material. At this point, I'm just trying to figure out how to pin the back. I made it really short for you guys. It actually took me a really long time to get it done. Just showing a little cat action to keep you entertained. So, I probably should have looked up how to actually make this instead of just guessing the whole time. I just spent the last hour and a half figuring out how to pin the back of this dress. I've tried this on numerous times now, and every time there was something wrong. But I think I finally got it. But now it's very late, and I'm very hungry. So I'm gonna finish this tomorrow. It's so late, even my cat has left me. I'm honestly really scared to use the sewing machine, so I'm not gonna do it just yet. I'm gonna work out the courage. Just sewing some pinch pleats to make the back fit better while trying to get the courage to use the sewing machine again. And just tracing an oversized sweatshirt with some chalk I found in the basement to create Mulan sleeves. Now just cutting my kindergarten tracing and using it to make the other side of the sleeve and some, some cat action for your viewing pleasure. More cutting acrobats to avoid the cat. My husband and I tried for two hours to get the sewing machine to work after calling both of our moms without luck. So I'm hand sewing again. A hundred points to whoever can guess why I said this. It's like I want to manja a banana. <laughs> Trying on and then tracing my newly made sleeve to make the second sleeve. Snip, snip. Sewed that together. Now it's time for the belt slash wrap. Now just pinning a zipper so I can make her belt fit my waist snugly. Cutting the bed sheet to make the wrap around her waist. My husband doesn't believe me when I told him there's a pink in her outfit, but you do, right? Pin the pink into the zipper of the belt. Ah, uh, such a hard worker. So close to being done. Just need to add a zipper to the back, try it on a hundred times, then sew all the pieces together, and now I am done. Oh, you want to see it? Okay. Well, here it is, and I'm happy to announce I needed no help getting in or out of this dress. I pinned my hair up to make it look shoulder, shoulder length, and I thought it was a fun shot of me taking the bobby pins out. Then, of course, I need the cat's approval. Thanks for watching. Bye now.